Hello, welcome to Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. I just finished reading this book. Let me say, it's actually from a series that came out back this past winter, back in February or March. It consists of seven episodes. It was on HBO, and I live for every Sunday for this show to come on. It was almost, I had a feeling of like, Sex in the City when it used to come on HBO. And Oz, you know, I was so excited. I couldn't wait to Sunday come. And after the episode aired, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to see next Sunday. And I'm talking about no other than Big Lies by Lorraine Moret. I just want to say, I personally give this book two and a half stars because the book and the series on TV was different for me. It was totally different. I mean, and I will get to that. It consists of three ladies. You have Jane, Celeste, and Madeline. Madeline is played by Reese Weatherspoon, and Celeste is played by Nicole Kidman. It's so, it starts out with Madeline taking her child to school. And for orientation, she see these teenagers talking on their cell phones. So she start, stopped them thinking she's being a hero by saving her life. Because they text them. Because, you know, I feel like this. You're not supposed to be texting on your phone driving. But, you know, hey, you can't control everything. Because kids going to, people going to do what they want to anyway, regardless. So after she got a car and, and started fussing at the teenage, she go back. She got on these stilettos. And she spring her ankle, and here comes Jane. So they strike up a conversation and find out their two kids are going to the same school, and they was going to orientation. So Jane wound up driving um, Madeline because she hurt her ankle. They get to the school to go through orientation, and the incident happened where a girl by the name of Amabel gets strangled, and you can see the strangle the handprints around her neck. They are pressuring her to find out who did it, who did it. So she points at Jane's little boy, Ziggy. Ziggy said, I didn't do it. So from there, it's a whole lot of stuff happening. It's like Jane is like an outcast. She's new in the community. And like in the book here, she had a motive or reason for coming to the community and that was to find Ziggy's biological father because actually, in reality, he raped her. That's how he was conceived. So she was coming there to, you know, confront him about that. She knew he was married and had two kids. And that's all I'm going to say about that one. He is there in the community. You need to read the book or watch the show. Madeline, I didn't like her because she talked a little bit too much. And it's like she can. It seemed like she was still in love with her ex husband Nathan, cause she just ran, 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 ran by Nathan. And I felt sorry for her poor husband Ed, because it was like he was the consolation prize. So he basically said it on the show. And so she was just couldn't get over the fact her ex husband left her with their oldest, the, their child together, which it is her oldest daughter, Abigail, and he's married to Bunny. And like in the book, him and Bunny has a little girl by the name of Sky who goes to school with Ed and Madeline's daughter by the name of Chloe. But in the show, Bunny and Nathan did not have any kids. Not at all. I didn't like that. How, you know, I'm like, okay, it wasn't like this in the show. So why they couldn't put this from the book into the show? Madeline had a fair, whew, she had a fair, 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 fair on Ed, and it was hot on the show. Did not even mention anything in the book about the affair she had with the man there in the community. Didn't even mention it at all. And I was disappointed in that. And they went on, she went on, the author in this book went on about the maid. Like, they didn't even say anything about a maid. The maid was sleeping with these men, different husbands in the community, and it all unfolded in tribute night when the murder took place. I just want to say, you know, Celeste, she loved Perry. 
But like I said, he was very abusive. So she got to the point she was going to leave him. She started seeking um, uh, psychiatrist help. And her therapist, and she was, you know, telling her therapist she was going to do it. She was going to leave. But then she would contemplate, no, I should stay for the boys or whatever. So eventually she wound up getting an apartment. apartment and she started putting furniture and everything in her. So I was like, still like, mm, she ain't going to do it. I'm not, I'm not for sure she really going to. Go through it at all, but I do want to say that what made me change my mind when um, that she was gonna leave him was when I read this in the book. Over the last five years, Celeste herself had developed a kind of acceptance of violence that allowed her to hit back, sometimes even hit first. She scratched, she kicked, she slapped, as if it were normal. She hated, but she did it. If she stayed, that was the legacy she was giving her boys. So basically, she was saying that, you know, if I stay in this relationship, my boys going to catch on. And they did. That their fathers beat me. And it's okay for them to grow up and be and hit on another woman, their wife or whatever, girlfriend. I got to set a better example for it. So she... I, when I read it, I was like, okay, she for real, she's going to move out. And she, you know, toward the end of the book, I'm not going to tell the whole book because I want you to read it for yourself. You may see a different view than I do because I did, like I said, I gave it two and a half stars because I didn't like some of the things that was in the book, that was in the show. The show was, to me, better than the book. You know, they always say a book is better than the show, but in this case, I'm going to say the show was better. And it obviously was because they got a petition signed that, going around because they really want a season two, which I don't know if that's going to happen because by reading this book, where would you go? And that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, I just want to say toward the end of the book, the ending of the book I didn't like, you know, it wasn't a cliffhanger like in the show itself. It left you like, wow, what's going to happen now? Because it, it could come back, you know, the way it left on the TV show. But in this book, it was just about Celeste, you know, she was speaking at this um this um convention about domestic violence, you know, what she went through when she was beginning to share her story with what she went through with her husband, parent, and everything. But overall, you know, I not gonna say I won't read another book by this author, because I will. And I do have another book, The Husband. I will check out. I'm not gonna say when, but I was kind of let down because I feel like it consists of 458 pages and it really didn't get, I mean, it had its peaks, but just when it had its peak, it didn't really go anywhere for me. So that's why I gave it that. I just want to thank everyone who watched my channel. It's Robert's Reader Room and Reviews. I'm on Facebook, open to the public. Thank you for all your support. And if you haven't, please subscribe. Please get this book, even though, you know, I didn't like it. You may find humor, because it does have humor in it. You might find something to take away from it that I did. So I'm not going to say goodbye. I'm just going to say till next time. I hope everything 